So we're here at uh, Marvel still, and uh, you're showing these devices. What are these? Okay. So uh, you're in the Black Pavilion uh, booth. It's part of the Marvel booth. We are showing here uh, uh, a new concept called Black Computing. Black Computing is um, we fit a whole computer inside okay. a plug. For example, there's a full computer in here. Like, uh, how fast is it, and what, what does it have? Okay. So we have different flavors of those. Yeah. This one is running two gigahertz ARM processor inside. Two gigahertz. Yeah, it has a built-in 512 megabyte DDR2, built-in 512 megabyte of DDR, uh, of NAND flash, gigabit yeah. Ethernet, USB. We have other flavors. It has also Wi-Fi. It has an internal hard drive. We have other with the, with a, with a, with multiple USB ports. Okay. And you don't have a screen output, right? This one is not without a screen. Without a screen. This one is a debug model only. Yeah. That, so the system itself is uh, <coughs> very much intended for developers. Yeah. The main use, the main you know uh, business flow is that developers buy this plug. Yeah. They buy with it the debug model. They connect. They develop their own use case. After they have you know their own company, the use in this case, or and they're ready, they go to the manufacturers, either Ionix or Global Scale. They order a million of those. Million. Yeah. Yeah. And they go production. So. Cool. And they have their pre-installed software to do special things. Yeah. So uh, at the beginning, it starts with the with the fact that you know every software that is running on the plug is all open source. Okay. We 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 have made a major investment in Linux, mainly Linux for the plug. Everything is GPL, everything goes to www.kernel.org. So anyone can download everything from kernel.org and he has a kernel. More than that, we have provided a plugcomputer.org website. Okay. That is a website that is made for developers. Every developer can download the, the whole SDK for the plug. We have Ubuntu, full Ubuntu running on the plug. We have full Debian, we have full Gentoo. Anyone can download anything he wants from there. How about Chrome OS? We have Chrome OS also. And also already? Of course. Yeah? And uh, anyone can uh, uh, start developing and have the new uses. For this plug specifically, the main use case, you know, the traditional use case is like, have this plug, plug it to all, USB hard drive, and it becomes a NAS. Yeah? So from a NAS, once you have this as a NAS, you can have you know a thousand of those with developers. So you can build your own cloud. Cloud. For example, this you know you, you can give you know, one of the ideas is that yeah. for, for example is that you can share your hard drive with the cloud. You can do remote backups. Right? Oh. Millions of use cases. BitTorrent downloads, of course. Yeah, everything. How everything. fast is a BitTorrent download? So with a two gigahertz uh, processor, uh, since we have a very very powerful uh, processor, of course with a very low power consumption. The limits, you know, no limits? becomes only the bottleneck on the only of your bread really? broadband connection. So you get maximum bit speed. Maximum you can download bitter. ten files at the same time. So of course, cool. Yeah, that's great. It's very powerful yeah. and, uh, and and running bit torrent and this only uses a fraction of its processing but capability. I'm guessing it must be very very expensive, no? Yeah, it's uh, extremely expensive actually. Yeah, really. It's ninety nine dollars. Ninety nine dollars. The developer mm -hmm. system. Whoa. And of course, if you work with the, with the manufacturers, and you go with a uh, with, without the debug model, and you do the feature you can go yeah. within a few years. You can go up up to you know as as low as forty dollars. Forty U.S. dollars. The whole system. The whole computer. Very cheap. And you can have. But is there any way to get a screen output? Do you have something else to right. show? Anything else? Sure. So we're having also references that we are showing also. Same chip family. Yeah. This is called here the Armada 300. 300. This is internally the Armada 510. 510. Okay. This chip has an HDMI out. HDMI output. For 1080p. Oh. It has also built-in VGA. Built-in high definition 1080p video decoder, H.264 video decoder. What is the video playback of this one? This one does not have any. This is the server. No video decoder. No video decoder. This okay. is the always on server. Okay. So this is the server side. Okay. This guy oh, over of here. Of course, there's no uh, video output. Exactly. This uh, this guy over here is the client side. Yeah. So with this, the opportunity is the client side are also endless. It has a built-in uh, video decoder, high definition, has yeah. an OpenGL ES 2.0 built-in. 
two LCD outputs, one HDMI can go as an HDMI, yeah. another one is a VGA for you know, yeah. all the all the old screens. We're actually showing here on some of some of the demonstrations, we're showing you know through this, the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse controller, keyboard and mouse. And we control, we have here a full Ubuntu running that's all you can do. So okay. right now you're, you're controlling the mouse and the Ubuntu? Yes. The screen output? So this one... You play some video? So for example, this is a 720p uh, video that we are showing in the, uh, the booth itself. So... Yeah. Okay. This is the playback. So what is this box? When is it available? What is this? It's just a demonstration? Yeah, so the chip itself is uh, sampling. Will be soon uh, in the market. You remember, Marvel at the end is a silicon company. Yeah. Provide the silicon. We have lots of people that want to do something like this. Yeah. So the use cases can be a laptop. Okay. We are showing actually in Marvel. We are showing a ready to use you know, uh, uh, Marvel based laptops. Okay. Actually, uh, I believe Quanta has uh, uh, had a press release on the thinnest, one of the thinnest computers, laptops wow. in the world, based on Marvel inch. silicon. Cool. Yeah, so very thin, uh, yeah. very thin computer, very lightweight. Because it's ARM based. Okay. If you do ARM, power consumption. Yeah. You know the battery. You don't need the huge batteries. Cool. You can use uh, simpler batteries. Uh, it can lo last longer. The way is less because there is less battery, less silicon, less board. And of course, the price is ARM based prices. It's great. It's cheap. Very cheap. How about no. do you have other things you want to show? Yeah, I want to show you, besides that, you know... Chrome browser? Chrome browser. So, since you are... Uh, hold on. Since, no. Everybody yeah. today can do high definition people. Yeah. It's, it's very common today. But, the added value you can do, once you have a very strong browser, is that you can also browse. So imagine yourself a media processor. Is it good at browsing? Very good. So let's see. Example, so right go. now we are in the... Uh, Google.com, let's just get some images. pictures. Uh, maybe... Uh, like that? Uh, yeah, hold on. Let's just pick this. So, you can see... Uh, it's a new, uh, looks new, new interface for uh, advanced JavaScript. Yes. I didn't know this. Yes. So, do you want to try it a little bit? See what happens? You click and there's all these advanced things. And this is like very advanced JavaScript. I guess. Yes. It works. So, we're running here a full uh, Chrome browser. Yeah. We have, of course, uh, a Firefox browser. Yeah. We have all the. Does Google Wave work? Is it fast enough for that? It's fast enough, of course. Okay. So, you know, on the. On the, on the let's go on a techmeme.com site. Which one? Techmeme.com. T Tech Mean Tech T E C H M E M E Again yeah. Dot com Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see if the latest news is about Marvel plot computers. Okay. So it loads like immediately. Yep. It's super fast. And you can even uh, open a new tab and it will be fast and everything is smooth. And there you can go on the uh, uh, what would you go on? Like, uh, let's go on news.google.com. So just type it in on the keyboard, and then everything seems like to be as fast as on any computer. Right? It's like it's just fast. Click one, two, two and a half, three. There it is. Okay. Cool. So very good user experience. Everything. Yeah. from a single chip. So inside, one chip does everything. You don't need chipsets, you don't need the bridges, yeah. anything. Single what, chip. Else do you want to, what else would you want to show? Is there something over there? Or? Yeah, so we want also to show you maybe the manufacturers of those boards. So we, we start with the... I'm going to close it here. Closing the Chrome browser. Closing the, the Chrome arm, browser. Arm computer. Arm plug. Arm pogo plug. So... Of course, we have uh, if you want open office. Yeah. For that full open office, uh, this runs. 
Let's see how, how fast it is with a big open office application. One. So maybe you want to do this. Two. And uh, test three. Oh, you want to talk in the while? You want me to film away from the screen? That's okay. That's okay. Then, oh, it's coming. Is there, it's just about, that is normal. I mean, the open office is a big, big application. Yes. So let's see where it's available. Yeah. It's I mean, a good bench, right? It's a good test, no? Uh, that's actually because it's the first time you run it. Next time open it becomes much more faster. Uh, and you will optimize it more? Yeah, the, the main bottleneck typically with those is the hard drive. Yeah. So since we are not using hard drives over here, we're using a you know, very simple hand. Yeah. 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 So there is more so, so. Cool. Yes, the name is So for example like this. We do yeah. some, you know, very, very much common uh, thing that we do for you know, children. What they want to do the homework. For example, they click on the, the chart. Dang! Whoa! It does the whole thing. Of course, it's a full office. Office uh, suite. Open source and free. Open source and free. The whole thing. Cool. It works. I believe it's even faster than a Vista. If you want to try it, if yeah. you benchmark that versus a Vista. Could, could I ask you what's going on over there? Yep. So what is this? So, from here we move to the manufacturers of the, the plugs. So, as, as again, Marvel is yeah. a silicon company. We enable others to do the, 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 the boards themselves. Okay? Yeah. By enabling them, we give them reference designs, full schematics. We give them full software for anything they need. Support and the and the proof is in this booth. So this manufacturer, for example, they are providing it's called the company's global scale. Yes. They enable the first uh, Shiva plug development uh, uh, systems. Is this what it is? Yes. That's a development system. That's one of the development systems. Yes. So they have uh, multiple flavors of those. This is the latest one, the Guru plug. So it has two Ethernet and an eSATA. Yes. And uh, what is over here? It's a 4D bug, those are 4D bug. D bug? Cool. What is that? That's a D bug model. D bug model. Cool. So typically, as we said again, a developer yeah. gets the, the development system for $99. Yeah. With a, with a fully blown system with a debugger. This is not 99, is it? This is $99. This is 99? $99. $99. $99. Cool. And it's available? It's available. Now. Ready to feel right now. Right now? Yeah. When did you launch? Uh, actually, with the first uh, original design for the Shiba Park, this is our second uh, generation Shiba Park called the Guru Park. The second generation? That's correct. And you launched it here at CES or before? Before the 2009 CES, we launched the first one called Shiba Park. Yeah. And we have been sold more than 10,000 units. But when did you s s launch this? Uh, this year. Now? Now. Just and today? Today. No, I, mean, I mean, four days ago. Right. Like at CES. Like this CES, year. this year. And ready to ship. Ready to ship now? Yes. Cool. All right, so this is, a, and you even have a white version. Yeah, we have a white version, they have a black color. No. This one has less plugs than the other one? Uh, this is called the standard, the same standard version. This is a standard, and yeah. this, what is that one? Uh, this is the, I mean, we call the server plus. Server plus. Right. So it depends on the country you live in, yeah. right? If you're in the US, then you use this kind of connector. Okay. It's all, everything is swappable, yeah. you can swap in the UK. But the, the, the plus is how much is this one? Uh, 129. 129, and this is 99. 99. And uh, so, is it using the 510? What no, this one is using, using 300. Sorry. 300. Uh, 300. Yeah. 300. 300. Yeah. 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 Cool. The same thing. Cool. And this is uh, very easy to take it out. Yeah. So the main thing between the this the, the version two and the previous one, what is the main difference? Oh, we added Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi. And Bluetooth. Bluetooth. And also use Snap. Uh, what do you call this? Sorry. Use NAP. It's the interface for the home automation. You can add the, the ZB or Z-Wave module. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. Let's continue on. Okay. So, as we said, Marvel, silicon yeah. manufacturers. Then we get into the customers that they buy the Shiva plug. They have their own use case and they start you know, shipping with their own use case. 
So one of the examples over here is a, is a company called WebTview. Maybe you want to give some uh, information? What do you do? Because so what we have done, uh, we've created a software application which uh, connects uh, your home devices with uh, internet video. Okay. And uh, the best of it is that you can stream uh, high definition videos from everywhere in the world, from any category, with any language, to your home without any picture freezes or delays. Any HD video? Any HD video. It can be 7, 720p or yeah. even uh, But you 1080p. need the file, HTTP file, uh, hosted files or do you take YouTube HD? What do you take? The beauty of it is that part of the technology is the uh, search uh, technology, which enables you to search from, uh, from your browser or from your television uh, and to search for videos that, that you like, even to uh, create your own personal channels. Oh yeah, so is it web-based? It's web-based. Uh, yeah, website. So the, the One is uh, the application which runs on the screen of my room, which connects uh, every home device with our catalog and uh, our acceleration engine, which ensures the smooth video stream is also located here and it uh, uses uh, the, um, the Shiva Plugs uh, uh, memory and CPU to do that. There's also the web portal which enables you to be in the world right now. In personalization, you get a lot of information about the videos. All this information is information that we extract from the videos about the concert. We also uh, provide you with uh, statistics about viewership, so you can actually watch uh, what other people like from your television. You provide recommendations. Uh, we provide some kind of recommendation which is related to what you as a user like, so we yeah. provide related uh, video. All the personal channels are dynamic, which means that if tomorrow we discover a new video which uh, matches your criteria, it will automatically appear on your Because TV. you rate the videos? No, not that, because uh, you, um, the, the, you ch them. the channel itself, um, because we extract so much uh, information about uh, the video, we can always do the matching between the new videos to what you like. So is it uh, launched, the service? The service is, uh, is uh, production ready. And what we're looking for is uh, for OEMs to, uh, to brand their own uh, uh, products with our software. They can use uh, our uh, search engine with the catalog and they can also use the acceleration uh, engine. So this, this means that there's lots of uh, opportunities with this. Endless use cases. Endless use cases. Just as we say, you know, in the Marvel logo board. We provide the silicon, we provide the system, we provide all the basic software, all the building blocks. Now you need to think and to have your use case ready for that. So maybe you can also show you other use case uh, for that. Uh, a company called the Shaspa uh, does home automation. Maybe do you want to demonstrate to us, please? So what are you, what are you automating here? In this case, we've connected the booth here and the little dolls house. Okay. So what we um, what we're showing here is how you can interface with the various protocols that you would find in building automation. Okay. And then run that on the Shiva plug. All right. Is it? Uh, is there like a, what is this? It's an exercise exercise bike. bike. So basically. Um, the, our energy monitors connect, collect the energy that this booth consumes oh, yeah? and then when you pedal on the bike it shows you how long you have to stay on the bike to compensate a day's worth of energy. Oh, yeah. okay. And what we did is we told the people that came to visit if they're within 10% of the, the time that it would take yeah? we'd give them a smart home kit. Smart what? A kit to put kit. in their home. Cool. But nobody guessed it. <laughs> It. No, it's it's hard to guess. Okay. All right. But thanks a lot for the tour of the Pogo Pogo plug Shiba use plug. cases Shiba and uh, Shiba plug Shiba plug um, technologies. Okay. Thanks. Plug computer. Plug computer. That's the website to start. <laughs>